suspect foul play. That line directly right there is going to be the line that I'm saying for the rest of my life anytime something suspicious happens. What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing the brand new Ryan Johnson whodunit movie, Knives Out, which is about a detective and a trooper who travel to a lush estate to interview the quirky relatives of a patriarch who died during his 85th birthday celebration and it has the likes of Ana de Armas starring in here Jamie Lee Curtis Tony Collette Chris Evans Don Johnson Catherine Langford Daniel Craig Michael Shannon Lakeith Stanfield Jaden Martell Eddie Patterson Christopher Plummer and my god this is like one of the best casts of this whole entire year and I'm so happy that this cast is within a Ryan Johnson movie which I know what let's just put last shadow I side we're not we're not gonna get into that discussion we're gonna talk about this brand new film and I'm super excited about it because this is one of my most anticipated films for the fall and in general all of this year but of course if you guys are new here make sure to hit that like subscribe where I do tons of early movie reviews like this on a daily basis talk tons of geeky content and I want to discuss it with you guys down below so make sure to also leave a comment down below why you guys are hitting that like and subscribe button. Times Out is one of the films that, again, I've been looking forward to all year long. A lot of the reason being is that every original film that Ryan Johnson has made is just superb. Hooper and Brick are fantastic, and his two episodes that he directed of Breaking Bad are fascinating and some of my favorite episodes of television ever. Ever. And when it comes to a Ryan Johnson film, there's always going to be something original and different to it. Even if you don't like it, there's something different about him. The way that his mind works is, and that's something that I forget to check myself as I go into one of his movies, especially here within Knives Out. Well, yes, we've seen many whodunits before, but this whodunit is very different in the way that it decides to tell its story. And I was not expecting that. And now while that's nothing to the matters of anything that I have an issue with but it's something that I would do want to prepare people for who go into this film because I love all the trailers for this film but some of the trailers give a little bit too much away and also has the tone of the film a little bit different than you would expect this is a whodunit for sure but it's a different type of one and that one that as you're following along the story as long as you're following along the threads you are on the edge of your seat every bit of the mystery that's playing at hand as you're trying to figure out what's next and what's going on and of course there will be no spoilers in here because I want you to go in here as open and less knowing of anything as possible I just want to get you more hyped about this movie this is one of the movies that you definitely should see this fall star alone you need to see it for the cast alone the cast is everyone is fantastic in here and they all give eccentric but needed performances in here and really, the big standout in here is Daniel Craig himself. Daniel Craig does this accent that might catch some people off guard, but I loved it. It fit this eccentric character. It fit the whole tone of the movie so perfectly well. And I would not complain at all if Ryan Johnson decided to take us on another adventure with a different type of cast of characters, but this same detective investigating a different murder mystery because I loved Daniel Craig's character in here. He's one of my favorite characters that I've seen in film this year alone but that doesn't stop me from talking about Chris Evans Jamie Lee Curtis or even Tony Collette who all turn in brilliant performances and all really bring in that same eccentric type of glorified but gravitas performance that we've seen from them before but something just a little bit different Chris Evans isn't this nice guy that we see as Captain America no he's this douchey guy he's a douchebag and I loved it Tony Collette plays this off-centric girl who has a little bit of quirk to her but I loved it. And Jamie Lee Curtis has this serious but stern tone to her while at the same time falling back into that same quirky moment. Don Johnson's great in here and but really Ana de Armas who really made a big presence for me in Blade Runner 2049 does the same thing inside this film as well as one of the actual main characters of this movie that you would not be expecting but she gives wonders to this character who again is also eccentric and has her own quirks to her but it's a character that develops into a different type of dynamic that I think many people will fall in love with. It's all these performances alone that really encapture the story at hand and really elevate the material that is already tightly directed by Ryan Johnson, but also has delicious writing in it. And when I say that, I mean this is one of my favorite scripts 
all year long. Again, it has a very unique story structure to it. As it's going through, as it's pacing through, it has you on the edge of your seat as you're pulling at every single thread that's going on the screen. And it's just so entertaining in those moments, especially when it comes to all the dialogue. And while some moments might feel exposition heavy, not in this film. Every single exposition heavy moment in here feels like it was needed and actually was there for the story and you were hooked by every single sentence, line, and word of dialogue from these actors that Ryan Johnson directed into the scene and wrote. The thing that just ties this all around in a nice little bow, a cherry on top, or might I say a stab wound to the heart right to the center would be the impeccable score in this. The score by Nathan Johnson in here is is fantastic and it's one of my favorite scores of the year because of the way that it tied in the whole entire surrounding of the movie and locked you in for the two hour and 15 minute runtime. I did mention earlier in the film that you do need to check your expectations at the door because this is a very different whodunit story than you've ever seen before in any sort of murder mystery. The way that Ryan Johnson handles the story here is a bit odd and off-centered at times which is for the way that most of his films work and I feel like now from now on any Ryan Johnson film that he makes I don't plan on seeing the trailers I don't want to see the trailers anymore because I feel like trailers do ruin stuff and I wish I wouldn't have seen the trailer for Knives Out and that's not an issue with the movie per se that of why it took me a little bit to get into the film it mostly comes down to the trailer and that the way I didn't check my expectations at the door but I was really floored from top to bottom with this movie I'll give you guys my final thoughts on Knives Out make sure to get in the comment down below let me know what your guys thoughts are do you guys like it do you hate it let's discuss it down below in the comments guys let's be nice down there let's be nice I, I know the guy who made Last Jedi. I, you know, that's not that's not a debate for this. I will be revisiting that review in a couple weeks, so do look out for that. But really, let's not get into that right now. And again, guys, if you guys are new here and you guys want to check out films early, go check out Sandwich on Films as well down below down there. And a big thank you to you for clicking on this video. And a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. Knives Out is the whodunit you never expect. Stabbing and surprising you around every corner with an incredible score, a delicious script that is tightly written by Ryan Johnson, and an eccentric but glorious performance from everyone, especially Daniel Craig. This is the must-see film for this fall. It's truly on the edge of my seat for this whodunit, and the way that you capture a whodunit and how you know it's great is when you're pulling at every thread, when you're on the edge of your seat, and all the way up to the end, you are guessing what the next twist or turn is going to be. You're playing it around in your head, and that's a great mystery right there, is when you're playing it around in your head, you can have fun with the story, and you feel like you're on a ride with the detectives. Again, the story structure is unique. It's different. And while it answers some questions right away, just know there's always more right around the corner. And that is the best thing about this movie. I loved Knives Out. I had so much fun with this. And my God, the score is impeccable and really brought this whole film to a stabbing center. So many quotable lines in here. And while I might be saying, I suspect foul play, for the rest of the year and maybe even the 2020, I'm so happy I got to see this and I cannot and not wait to see Knives Out again. So with all that said, I'm gonna give Knives Out an A-. minus. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this video. Again, hit that like and subscribe button so you guys don't never miss out on any content. And of course, a big shout out to the Scottsdale International Film Fest for hosting the Knives Out screening. This has been a great festival and I hope you guys, I hope to see you guys there next year or maybe at the movies soon. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this. Hit that like and subscribe button, comment down below. But guys, of course, until next time, stay classy.